everybody. I'm Adam. I'm Michael. And we're bored in Ohio. Michael, yeah. I heard that you saw Dune. I heard this from you about five minutes ago. <laughs> I did. I saw uh, it yesterday. I, well, I guess you should say Dune Part 2. Is this Dune Part 2? Yeah, they call it Part 2. So I've seen the first Dune. I never saw, like, I never read the books. Oh, I did. Never saw the David Lynch film. You never saw the David Lynch one either? No. Oh, my God. Um, but I have seen, you know, I don't know how to pronounce that director's name. Uh, Daniel De Le- 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 no disrespect. De- I just, Le- I am illiterate. Um, yeah. but, and I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. So you saw Dune part two. I did. And you have to like, I have a complaint. Tell me about it without spoiling. Why did the movie theaters switch to? Like it says, the movie's at three thirty. Do you know what time the movie actually starts now? Um, the movie starts at four. Literally, that's when the trailer is and all. I mean, it doesn't. It starts a half an hour past the time they say the movie time is. You can literally show up fifteen, even twenty minutes late to the movie because it's thirty minutes. The last you had two this, movies like this. Oh my gosh, you had the same complaint. When seeing yeah, what was Wonka. It? Oh, yeah. And you already it. talked about it. And we all know. Like, Why did they start doing this? Probably They're... because they lost so much money during COVID times that they're like, we need to recoup. We need to sell more ads. We need to do this, that, and the other. You know what? Also, um, they changed the Deadpool trailer. Do you know he talks about pegging? Yeah. He, you know what he says instead? What? He goes, um, uh, you guys are used to uh, R rating, but Disney's not, instead of the whole pegging joke, which the pegging thing was hilarious. Well, I get it because that was like the online trailer. That was kind of, I mean, that was like a basically a red band trailer and that you can't do that in the theater. Although if you're seeing a rated R movie, some, sometimes they'll do yeah. a rated R trailer. Yeah. I, I don't understand. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, oh, the movie. The yeah, movie. I was like, yeah. Movie theater <laughs> complaints aside, uh, tell me about Dune 2 without spoiling All right. anything for me or our listeners slash viewers. This film is, I, I it's to, to me, the whole time I'm watching it and, and the music and everything and the stylization and all that stuff, it, I kept thinking this is like poetry. It, it's it's gorgeous. Everything did, about it's gorgeous. Did you have, did it like, did you have like a, other like out of body experience I, I with did. this film. I, I got I got emotional a couple of times watching it. He's his pacing was perfect. Everything in it is perfect. I, I loved every single thing about it, um, except for the fact that Josh Brolin, who I love, uh, towards the end of the film, he's wearing so much armor stuff on him. He looks like he put on about seventy five pounds. He looks like he's fat. The way that the stuff fits him, and so he's doing these fight scenes. And he looks like he looks like a dad bod out there when he's supposed to be this, you know, seasoned warrior and stuff. Hey, dad bods are in. Are they? Yeah, I see the way women look at you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was about to say, I get to stop working out. Fantastic. Um, I mean, Timothy Chalamet is great in it. There's, I got a little bit of a... Uh, well, I can't even tell you that because you didn't watch the first one. You won't even understand. There's a little bit watch of watch the first film. No, I'm sorry. The uh, David never, Lynch one. The Lynch one would tell you that. Well, okay, this isn't really a spoiler for anybody, but um, he has Usul has a Paul has they call him Usul later on. They they give him a name. Um, he has a sister that's not born yet paul's like to me shall me right yes his mom because he's like a messiah character yes his mom has got pregnant just before his father was murdered Mm -hmm. so and his sister because she drinks the water of life you know that she's forced to take it at one point they didn't know she was pregnant um the baby then also absorbs this and his sister is able to talk to his mother the entire time so even though it's still in the womb and growing she's oh but you don't hear the baby talk they'll show right. the baby at times as it's growing interesting um but 
drinking the water of life gives you, you can see the future and different things that'll happen. They go into all this lore, but one little teaser thing is if they do a third film, which looks like they're going to, um, Anna Taylor, the whatever or not, the one I really like. She's in Furiosa. Um, oh, Anna. Anna Taylor Joy. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, she plays his sister, which is pretty cool because I know what happens with this sister and all that stuff. She's really powerful and whatnot. They show her in the future for like, she's in the film for like 15 seconds. Okay. They just show her and she's talking to him in the future. I mean, this is kind of spoilery. Well, I mean, if they do a third, they're going to do the third film. I know that the, the composer's already working on the music for it. I read yeah. that just the other day. So um, now on that note, yeah, really quick, because I, like I said, I haven't read the books. Is there source material for a, th- a third? Yeah, there's a third. Yeah, there, okay. I think there's a third and there's there a third and a fourth book. There's definitely a th- there's a third. I've read that. Um, I think there's I think there's a fourth one after that, too. It's pretty long. Um, now, does the book series say, stay good throughout? The next book is I didn't. The third book I didn't find to be as good, but that's because you're you're learning about Paul and his rise the entire time in the first first book, which is that's the that's the cool story. It's like this person gotcha. is just supposed to be gotcha. you know, and then they become powerful and people will come you know follow them and whatnot. Um, but man, you didn't see you can't even appreciate the the two different fades in this film. Well, I know that Sting or whatever. Yeah, but I love the way he played, played him, fade, and I like the way that. Elvis played him. Elvis. I can't remember the guy's name. I uh, something Butler. Austin Butler. Austin Butler. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> ever since he played Elvis, and like, he just sounds like Elvis all the time. But I know he did like voice stuff in this to sound yeah. closer to like Stellan Skarsgård. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you get to it's. Yeah, but it fits because he looks so weird. Um, and it was cool, man. They made everybody look. Uh, everyone has a shaved head in that race of yeah. beings. Uh, the Harkonnens. Yeah, Ar- 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 Yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. Like they, they showed you the world, their planet and whatnot. And they have a black sun. And so that's why you see this shots in the trail where it's all black and white. It's because you're on their planet at that time, which I thought was a pretty oh. cool way to do it. And they even do a cool shift where scars guards, the Baron, he's, he's moving through a building until he hits the black sunlight or whatnot. And that's, that's the color shift. You see it happen too. Like, it's just gorgeous. This whole film just yeah. so well shot. Um, music's amazing super loud when it needs to be and all that stuff but it's more this is a drama film like yeah 85 percent of it is no action at all um and still and it didn't even feel like three hours well it's two hours and 48 minutes i think it was yeah well that's good because like that's usually my first complaint about any movie i see these days is that they're too fucking long yeah well that's what claire said when we were leaving she's like can we just have movies that are an hour and a half long from now on please I'm like you're, I you're an old old woman. A a film that you know, somebody that knows like okay, this is this is 90 minutes tops, and they're not trying to do any filler. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that very much. And like we used to like, I feel like movies used to do that just fine, but I don't know if it's like a nowadays we like people need to feel like they're getting more out of their the, their bucks yeah. that they're spending, so they're just adding shit. I don't know, but like when a movie actually warrants it, yeah. then. Hell yeah, go like, for it. I want the Deadpool movie to be like four hours long. Well, I don't know. That would probably overstay its welcome. It would, but I just want to see more. He just cracks me up, man. Well, yeah. Like so of much course. cracks me up. I, I did see an interview. Christopher Nolan, he compared this to Empire Strikes Back for him as being yeah. like that level of like of a, like a series of stories like hitting that like because he for him like 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 most anybody with a fucking brain. Uh, Empire Strikes Back is the best Star Wars film. It is. I don't really mean to diss anybody, but it's true. What, what would anybody think is better of the rest of them? Which one's better than Empire? I don't know. Like, because Return of the Jedi kind of sucks. Overall, that's yeah, little teddy bears. Yeah, I, yeah, it's just. I don't. I wouldn't say it sucks, but like that's when it if it was like 
George Lucas was really getting that toy money. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And he was like, come on, we got to have something here that's cute. How about little bears? It's better than those little chicken things. The porgs? That's in the it. new movies? Those, yeah. Yeah. That's just ridiculous. They had like, all, that's side rant. Can we stop having cute little things in movies just to sell shit? Like the the new newer Ghostbusters movies. Oh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Like well, one nostalgia, but two, let's make a bunch of them and make them little, and let's just keep putting them in because yeah. they're going to be in this new one. Yeah, I saw that trailer again too. The final, you know, final quote on tra- trailer or whatever. Are you? The more I see this, the less excited I am about it. Um, it's like. I'm I'm just worried they're going to go over the top with nostalgia again. That was my biggest complaint about yeah. Afterlife. And the first couple of trailers for this new one I was like, "Oh, okay. This 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 just feels better." Yeah. But this last one and they showed the librarian ghost and like redoing that scene with Ray and I'm like, "Come on, yeah. guys. Stop redoing the shit. You don't need to." And the trailer says, I think the trailer was, you know, they had a little title sequence thing going. It says they released every ghost they caught ever. Mm-hmm. So, like, anything you saw in the other films is definitely going to be in this. I wonder if the, the painting dude's going to be in this, too. Vigo? Vigo. Vigo. Uh, Vigo. <laughs> You're but the buzzing of flies to him. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Vigo. Dude, does that mean we have to see... Well, um, actually, no, that, on that topic, that's, that's what happened... At the end of the first film. Yeah. That's, yeah, you're Walter right. Walter Peck closed down the shit, and then their containment unit blew up, and That's they right. released all the ghosts. They're just doing the same thing again. Yeah. Does that mean Zool's going to be in this one, too? Did they kill, kill, kill? I don't remember. Or shot it back. I don't even remember what happened at the end of that movie. Of Afterlife? Yeah, oh, they had yeah, like a ca- matrix of like, oh yeah, of traps. The traps. Then they just caught, caught her, right? I can't remember caught actually. Uh, um, yeah. Back to Dune. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I watched a, you know, I've watched a few like behind the scenes things or whatever, and um, another another more successful YouTube channel, Corridor Digital or Corridor Crew. Uh, we're talking about VFX. They looked at Dune and the trailers for the new one yeah. and stuff. And they were talking about just how expansive things look. And, and well, I think also, like, I think in the first one, like, they, they didn't do, like, blue screen or green screen. They did, like, tan screen <laughs> or oh, something really? like that since they're filming out in the desert. Yeah. And that way, like, all the bounce light looks good. Like, it, they actually, you know, the stuff looks like it's there. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh yeah. But it was cool, man. And I'm excited about the uh the Lego Firefly looking ship thing. Did you get that? The Ornithopter? Whatever. Is that what it's called? The Ornithopter. Dear God. Did you get that? I'm I won to. They showed quite a few of those flying around and whatnot in the in They're it pretty was, sweet. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. I I like the way that they had uh I mean, one could no. say that's kind of stupid idea for a ship, but it was actually pretty fucking cool. To I see mean, those it's cool. flying around. It yeah. looks kind of organic. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, I will say, like, I have seen clips from the David Lynch film mm. and how they did their force fields. Oh yeah, <laughs> they look like Minecraft characters. They do. Yeah, and I didn't know Patrick Stewart ah, was in right. it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's Josh Brolin plays his character. Okay. Okay. And there's way, I don't know, there's a, I mean, obviously they didn't follow, Lynch's film doesn't follow the books this as much. This one pretty much follows it, everything that happens. But, uh, but yeah, the, the, I can see where there's going to be a complaint where this huge battle at the end, like in the Lynch film, they showed a lot of fighting Yeah. And w- during this, this thing. And this one, they just kind of like, he sets out a plan. This isn't ruining anything. Sets out a plan. You go this way, you guys come from this way and I'm going to come from this way. And then it's just like, they do it. Ten minutes of, and it's just over. That's it. They, they all of these uh, armies, <laughs> and mm-hmm. just wipe them all out. Pretty. They only show like a few moments of, of fighting, and then they're mm-hmm. inside. 
Well, I think they the, breach. They're making the statement that the the drama of the story is more important. Than yes, it. yeah, and it it, I, it works. Uh, and Christopher Walken wasn't Christopher Walken. I completely Walken. forgot that Christopher Walken yeah. is in it because they only showed him for like a split second in one of the trailers. He's not. He doesn't do his. I I almost think that he sat people down and was like, "I want you in." They my don't. Film. They don't like pull up Paul Atreides and be like, "Hey, he's the Messiah." He's like, "Wow." Yeah. No. He they he didn't do any of his normal mannerisms that you would see him do in any other. It was it was it was interesting to see him not be Christopher Walken. You know, um, spies. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to say that. Oh, man. Um, you know, Florence Pugh's in it a bit. Yeah, we could create a soundboard because you've already done that in a, in a podcast, it, too. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah, I like her. Um, but yeah, no, everything was everything was really good. In it. I so you're saying that. acting's good, visual's good, story's good, pacing's good, everything's good. Yeah. Why... Why haven't you seen this movie, everyone? Yeah, why? Including myself? Yeah. Why, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you why, because movie theaters fucking suck. Oh. At least the ones around us. Have you seen the trailer for that weird um, Zendaya uh, tennis film? Oh, where like, it looks like she's going to be like banging, banging those oh, dudes. Yeah, she absolutely has a threesome. You can definitely tell in the trailer that at one point she's like, come here, and then she goes, mm-hmm. come here to the other one, and she starts making out with both. I don't know. I, this is the only movie where I'm like, I really liked you in this movie. I don't mm-hmm. know anything else where I'm like, I really like you in this. I mean, really, the only other movie I've seen her in is the Spider-Man, Spider-Man. movies. Euphoria, Sydney, you know, loves loves that series. And yeah. she supposedly, that's all supposedly really great. I haven't watched any of that. There's you know, too many shows there's too to watch many, anyway. Too many shows. Um. I'm almost uh, finished with um, Succession. I'm I've never f- watched. Oh, you haven't watched any of that? No. Either? It's really good. Kara had started that one without me, and I was like, okay, fuck you. <laughs> so I'm not going to watch it. Although she didn't continue, so I think we might pick it back up. Oh, okay. And I'll watch it it's, from it's, the beginning. It's, it's quite I've heard good. nothing but good things. It's, it's quite good, yeah. And I thought it was like seven seasons long. It's only four. Yeah, it's not too yeah, bad. It's not bad. Um, we're in the second season of The Bear now so good it is like i I, like after the first episode i was like yep i'm in i figured yeah as soon as you watch that first instant i was like i like all the characters i like how this is done uh this is gonna be a good show yeah then we can start a restaurant Kara was way too stressed (laughs) i bet she was yeah she was just so (laughs) so stressed but then you know as you get with certain character like like the the humor of the show i think kind of won her over you know, more so like, and I think she likes characters like cousin is a fucking idiot, but he's really funny. Yeah. But I think the thing that she, I think she almost spit her drink out when they had to, in the first season, they had to um, do a a little catered party for the the mob. I'm going to call him a mob guy. He's He's kind of a mob guy. Yeah. Uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's kind of a mob guy. Yeah. Do a catered party for like some kid's birthday party. Yeah. And they accidentally put like Xanax Oh, and yeah, the Ecto right. cooler, yeah. which one also awesome throwback that they made like Ecto cooler drink, but all the kids were passed out. And he's like, uncle, I think we have a problem. And he looks out at all the kids and he's just like, what are they fucking dead or something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Kara about spit her drink out <laughs> laughing. Yeah. He's so, great. Yeah. I like that guy too. Yeah. He's Oliver Platt. 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 That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. I've always liked him. I've liked him since Lake Placid. Fucking Lake Placid. What a goofy-ass movie. So great. So great. Uh, be, what is it? Betty, 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 Betty White was in it. Betty White, yeah. yeah she, she and she was like cursing up a storm. She'd lead, lead yeah. her cows. She was feeding them. <laughs> feed, yeah. yeah. So great. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm not watching that that tennis movie. I haven't looked over at Claire to see what, you know, I try to, sometimes when I'm watching. Oh, they show a trailer for it? Yeah, because I watch, uh, anytime I'm watching trailers, she doesn't watch trailers. She refuses to, unless she's in a theater and she has to watch it. Because she yeah. doesn't like, she thinks trailers ruin too much, which some of them really do. That's fair. But I always watch her face and I was watching her watch this and she it, she kept more and more going, why? The, uh, why? And I'm like, yeah. Are you guys, guys just getting like prudish? In your old age? No, man, because she watches all those, uh, I, I call them, I walked into, oh, Outland, Outlander. Oh, that's like. 
so I walked in one time. No, I have no idea what that show's about. It's like porn. All I know is some dude was getting raped by another dude from behind, and they were just you just tagging away on his on his rear end in some kind of prison. And I go, "What the hell are you fucking watching?" And she goes, "This is Outlander." She's like, "Oh, this is nothing. If you think this rape scene's bad, <laughs> oh my god." <laughs> so it's, she loved that show. Watched all the seasons of that. It's it's their it's it's her it's her uh, porn. That's her jam. It must be yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Which I find odd, by the way, because she can't watch like Clockwork Orange because of the, the rape scene that happens in the beginning of that movie. I've never she, seen Clockwork Orange. What the fine, fucking... It's fine. You say this every time. Let, let it wash over you. <laughs> and remember, I'm younger than you. I know, but these are these are like either cult classic or classic films and you haven't seen so many of them anyway. She can't watch that, but she can watch Outlander where there's like a, somebody's getting raped every other episode and that doesn't seem to bother that her That seems at all. like a weird, you know, thing for your show. You know, we want to be known yeah. for all of our rape scenes. All our, yeah, exactly. I'm sure that's not really what it's like. There's got to be more to it. <laughs> yeah, there's something because, yeah. It's like it's like those romance novels, you know, like like that your like your mom used to read back in the day. All those slutty romance novels, where, but now you're watching it instead of reading it. That's exactly what that looked like to me. Anyway, Doom was fantastic. Go see it. <laughs> really, really good. No rape scenes in that at all, male or female. That was a masterful segue. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, see Dune, no rape scenes. Yeah, no. <laughs> if that's not your thing, Dune. Dune. Dune's where you got to be. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's without me saying anything, you know? Yeah. It was really. You had uh, to be fairly vague. You're just like, everything's good about it. Go see it. And that's enough for me. I have no complaints other than I thought. Honestly, that battle scene thing. Some people might complain there wasn't enough of that. You probably wanted like yeah. twenty minutes. Of I mean, it. honestly, I didn't really need your opinion because Christopher Nolan already told me it was good. Oh, I see. And I, I will trust whatever that man says. Although he does like the Fast and Furious movies. I was about to say to you, as he is like popcorn, and I don't get that at all. Those <laughs> movies are so bad. <laughs> but now, like, just because he said something makes me rethink life, <laughs> and like, I feel like I need to watch the whole series. Say, Claire did go back. I told you without. Obviously, this is before knowing. She went back and watched all of them because I guess they were on HBO Max or something like that. And she was looking. So she went back and watched all of them. And she goes, they're so awful. She's like, you get you get past like four. And she's like, they just keep get progressively worse and worse. Well, and they worse. start doing crazier and crazier yeah. shit. Yeah. I, I, like we're going to have a car flying in space or something. I, I, I feel like that's happened in one of them. And I used to like Ben Diesel a lot because of Riddick. Like, yeah, lo, you know, but. I started disliking him because these, and hey, I'm not even watching them. I ain't gonna hate on the man. Those movies make buku bucks. Oh yeah, they do. I don't. I don't understand who's watching them. Just like I don't understand who's watching NCIS. The 15 of those, uh, Hawaii Five O. Who's wa who's watching this shit? Well, I don't mind. Like, so I I don't watch either of those shows. But like, I get it. Like, why? What do you get? Well, like an NCIS or whatever. Like, it's not like there's no. As far as I know, there's no real big overarching canonical story. Like you can just come in and watch one and so get it's the a, fuck it's out. It's always sunny, but it's about cops. Kind of. It's just a procedural drama. Like each episode's kind of contained. There might be some like little character bits that probably cross over from episode to episode in a season, but like those shows rarely have like a an overall season arc. It's just like you jump in, you get a little crime drama, and you get the fuck out. And I, I understand that. I get that. That's why I think that's why like crime podcasts are very popular because it's like like it's a individual story. You listen to it and you're done. But there's like there's there's crime podcasts. Oh yeah, that's that's also like a, a at least the meme is like that's like a lady thing. They like they like to listen to like murder podcasts about serial killers like kill women and stuff, and they're like so into it. I'm like. I mean, I watched Why the documentary, but I can't imagine me listening to... It's the same kind of thing, just no visuals. Sure. I guess it'd be like if you're reading the book. But then you got instead. somebody saying like, and then he walked in yeah. and just fucking raped and murdered her. <laughs> <laughs> but like in a more, that, watch more eloquent way. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then they and then, and then, sponsored by Dune. No rape. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'd like that to be like a simple to mar- marketing campaign. Like if there was like some big movie of the previous year that had to deal with like some kind of crazy topic that's controversial. Like the next movie, like the next year coming, they just like, uh, yeah, like Dune, no rape. <laughs> the previous year, like there was a movie that had a big rape scene that was controversial, but it was like, oh, critics loved it. And audiences were divided. Dune, no rape. <laughs> I want to get paid for this marketing scheme now when somebody steals it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't really have anything to talk about today, so uh, I, I was I was more than happy to listen to you talk about your opinions of Dune. And it's nice to hear you like something for <laughs> once because you are just known for shitting <laughs> on and every- hating on everything, which is why I do want you to start doing some pod, or not podcasts, uh, movie reviews and posting them on the, the YouTube page because... I think people get their fix of just somebody just shitting on stuff, and that that person will be you. Will there be a running tally at the bottom of a percentage of how much I hate and how much I like? I don't Ooh, know. you could do a graphic. Yeah, it could be. But I hate just about yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, and then, then yeah. they'll watch me do reviews for a more, like, well, not, I don't say well-rounded, but yes, well-rounded, uh, even, like, fair review. I'll tell you if it's something I didn't think it was good, but... Are you trying to say that you go into it not expecting to hate it, whereas you think I go in expecting to hate it? No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you just, you're you're fueled by hate. <laughs> and I want to give people the benefit of the doubt and like trust that, you know, these people put their best foot forward to make a good movie. Uh, hopefully the executives, did, like if, if something fucks up with that, I'm like, oh, I'm sure some dumbass executive it was like oh no i'm giving you notes i'm giving you notes put a giant robotic spider in that please i can't yeah. help it what was it movie wild west or whatever the hell it was with well Will yeah Smith? like that's what it ended up yeah, being in yeah. but it was supposed to be in the the superman oh yeah that's right movie yeah and it, we did get to see that scene it looked kind of cool in the flash yeah uh and yes you know what kind of works <laughs> it does. especially with so i think so we need to we need to apologize to that producer <laughs> <laughs> that that Wild West movie was so awful. Oh yeah, but that was like at like the peak of we have CG now and we can do crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's yeah. just do crazy shit. What would a giant steampunk mechanical spider look like <laughs> in the Western times? So like, bad, goofy as shit. Uh, I will say I do plan on posting this week the first re-airing. Ooh of clown face and gas mask it may be out before this video or after so uh if you have no idea what that is you'll get to watch it there if you do know what it is rewatch it again yeah. uh and we're gonna do i'm gonna be posting some special director's commentaries mm. uh as follow-ups so be on the lookout uh otherwise it'll take me a little while to work on that short film that we shot Damn. in the cabin I previewed a bunch of Im- imagery and stuff yeah. from it, uh, some footage. Audio sounded not too bad, I oh, feel like. good. Um, and I started looking for assets. Tell me, you know, Besides jazz mine. it up. Well, no, you all your assets are on the screen. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. All of them. All of them. All right. But that's all I got. That's all I got. Go see Dune 2. See Dune 2. After you like and subscribe. Yeah. On Board in Ohio. We'll see you next time.